just want to come to you and show you a few things that I have right now and this is just a few things I have on my carpet I want to show you that I'm getting ready to do some crates in my classroom and I'm showing you right now all the things that I have as far as what you would need in order to have a successful um, seating crate for your classroom or something cute that's going to be in your office or just for a little one around the house to have a simple chair to sit on so you're going to have um, a mattress pad. I got this one from Walmart. It was under $10. And then I went to Home Depot. Okay, I went to Home Depot, Depot, not Home Goods. I had them to cut it out for me. I only needed five, and this is what it would look like. Um, I just took my actual crate there, and they measured it. So um, I'm only going to make five, and I have five black crates, and it's going to come out to this big wood, and they're going to you know, chop it up for you. Um, I got this from Walmart, the gun, as well as the staples. All right, this one was under um, $5, and the staples was under $3. And then I went to Joanne's, no, 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 I went to Michael's. So I went to Michael's and I wanted this red and white cover for my um, classroom. It's gonna be in the reading area. So the reading area is gonna be red and white. So this is just gonna go on top of the mattress pad to make it tight so when I wrap this on top of that it will be nice and tight and just any old marker will do because when you get ready to open this up you're gonna need to put the wood on top of the mattress mark it so you get ready to cut it so I don't have my scissors sorry guys I have my scissors right here that I'm going to use okay so I'll be right back So when you open it out, it's going to come like this. Fancy shell on the other and a plain side right here. Okay, so guys, at this point, I'm just taking my marker, just measuring it, making sure I have everything outlined so I get ready to cut it. I have my proper measure. So when you cut it out, come out just like that. that. Now, when we put Matches. it up against the wood, I was thinking when I was touching it, it was too thin. So when I was put up against the wood, I was squeezing, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. So I need to make another one so it could be a little thicker. So I went out and got two more. guys I was trying to stay in the frame so I'm, <laughs> I'm stapling right now the edges making sure it's nice and tight I'm pulling as I am flipping it over and measuring making sure I have enough space to well enough not enough space enough material to cut so I just want to make sure that um, I took my time with that because you know once you cut material that's it or you could try to you know fix it later on so I was trying to make sure it was close to perfect Staple the corners 
um, when you flip it over, you're going to see it's nice and tight and smooth. So when you get ready to add the original cloth that you're going to show majority of the time, it'll be so much easier. Just watch and see. Sorry guys if I am blocking the camera, but I was trying to make sure that the material, it was, you know, straight and I was trying to stay out of the way. But you'll see once I cut it, I'm gonna try to scoot on out of the way. And guys, I just treated this like it was a gift box, you know, for Christmas. I just tucked the corners in and I flipped it over. Instead of using tape, I just used my staple gun. That's how I treat it. Like I'm just wrapping in gifts, really. But here, as you can see, I'm done. I made five of my pillow tops, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you put one on top of the cart. So remember, you can use any color. You can get it from Joann's, Michael's, wherever. Um, your milk crates, um, you could probably get it from your local grocery store. You don't necessarily have to go to a Walmart, but however, whatever makes your boat float. And when I have my crate, and I put my pillow on top, that's what it looks like. Ta-da! So I'm just trying to get different angles for you guys so you can see it. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you. See you later.